So first, beginning with the Mary Kay Foundation Primer, I'm going to squeeze a little bit on my hands and then just apply this all over the face. Um, what's awesome about this primer is it also includes SPF, so it's nice because I get it in my moisturizer and then also my primer. Next, we're going to start with the foundation. This is the Mary Kay Matte Wear Foundation in the shade Bronze 1. So I'm going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm actually going to use my Beauty Blender to blend it out because right now I cannot find my foundation brush. So Beauty Blender is the next best thing. So now we are going to fill in our brows. I'm just using my spoolie just to brush them out. I'm in the process of growing them out, so they're a little bit all over the place right now, but we will get through this. So again, just brushing them out, and then I'm going to use my Mary Kay Brow Pencil. Um, it's the Brow Definer Pencil in Brunette, just to go ahead and fill them in. So I am hoping to film a brow tutorial soon for you guys, but just to give you some basic steps. So I start at the bottom. I draw my line just to create my shape and then I personally fill in the beginning of my brow first just to give it some shape and then I add my tail. Because my brows have no tail, this is the one thing I definitely have to add. Um, so I just build it up step by step, small feather like strokes um, to make them look, look more hair like um, and then I just fill them in as I go. So next we are going to use the Mary Kay Eye Primer. Um, just as a base for our eyeshadow, I am heading out of the house in a few minutes, so I'm doing a very natural look, but I'm just going to use my ring finger to go ahead and start to pat the eye primer on my eyelid only, um, just because I'm not planning on using too much shadow today for this look. So now for the eyeshadow, we are going to use the Mary Kay at Play Out of the Blue Eye Palette. Um, unfortunately, these shadows have been discontinued by Mary Kay, so feel free to use whatever shadows you have in your collection. Um, but I really like this palette for that peachy, like shimmery shade that's there to the right. So I'm just going to pack that on an eye color brush, and then I'm actually going to pack that on my eyelid very lightly. Um, be careful with shadows like this because they do tend to have a lot of fallout, um, but overall it's just a nice wash of color just for a quick natural look. So next we are going to add some colors to our crease. I'm going to use this little palette that I created um, with Mary Kay. I just took a few of their different eyeshadows and put together. Um, but I'm going to take that brown shade on my Morphe, I think it's my M433 brush, and we're taking the shade Hazelnut to add to the crease. Um, this is a really, really nice transition shade um, for anyone, especially medium to deeper skin tones. It has a hint of a red undertone, which is nice um, because it works perfectly for me as a transition shade. So I'm just going to buff that into the crease back and forth um, just with a very light hand. Again, it's not a heavy makeup look today, just something simple, something natural, um, but just to give the eye a little more definition. Normally on days like this, I don't use concealer as an eye primer just because I don't want to get rid of the natural shadow that I have in my eyes. So adding just a little bit of hazelnut to that makes it pop. Now we're going to go in with, I think this is Spin Silk or Spin Silk by Mary Kay, just as an under brow um, highlight. It's just again, very natural, very subtle. So next, we are actually going to spray our eye color brush. I wanted a little bit more intensity on the eyes, so we're just gonna add that peachy shimmery shade again um, after I've sprayed my brush with finishing spray just to the center of the lid, just to make it pop um, a little more. Now I'm going in with my Mary Kay eyeliner pin just to line my lash line. So I'm not doing a wing, I'm not winging it out, um, but I'm just making tiny little strokes on my lash line just to make it look like the base of my lashes are a little bit thicker. 
um, just because my lashes are blonde a little bit lighter so I always add a little bit of liner just to the lash line to help make them look a little more voluminous. Next I'm also going to use my Mary Kay Lash Primer again just to help coat my lashes make them look a little more intense and then I'm going to follow up with my Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. Um, this is probably one of my favorite mascaras just because the bristle is perfect. It's the perfect shape. There's not too many bristles, um, but it's also not super thin, so it coats your lashes perfectly. So I'm going to start from the bottom and wiggle my way up, and then I'm always going to come down on top again because my lashes are so light, I have to coat both sides. Boom. Like, that's such a huge difference between one side to the other. So I'm going to go ahead and follow up with mascara on my other eye, um, and then we will move on. So next, I'm going to contour or bronze. So I'm going to take my, I think it's my Light Bronze Concealer by Mary Kay, and I'm just going to add a few dots right there um, to where my cheekbone is on both sides. And then I'm also going to add a little bit to my five head, and then also along my jawline and my chin just to add um, some definition. So I'm gonna blend that out with my brush. Again, moving in upward motions um, just to make sure that it looks sculpted but then still looks natural. So I'll blend that into my foundation when I'm done. Um, but again, just starting from the top of my ear and moving down and then always brushing back upward. So doing the same on the other side, I tap the concealer in first, um, and then once I have it in the area that I want it, then I'll move back and forth as far as blending it um, up and down on my face. Same thing with my chin, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that down, make sure I don't get caught with just a line, like blend it all the way into the neck, and then the same on my forehead, my temples, um, just to get rid of my five head personally. So now I'm going to use my Mary Kay concealer. This is in the shade Light Bronze. Um, and I'm just going to add that under my eyes to get rid of my dark circles and then also to my forehead. So I've noticed that normally if I add concealer like around my mouth, then it normally turns gray. I don't know why, but it does. So I've stopped doing that and I just focus on the center of my face. So under my eyes, my forehead, and then my nose. Alright, so next we are going to set all of that concealer with some Mary Kay translucent powder. So first I take my sponge just to go ahead and get rid of any extra creases that might have occurred um, in between my application and then I'm going to dip it into my powder and just set very lightly um, the places where I added concealer. So right underneath my eyes, I'm also going to add it to my chin um, where I added concealer and then I will also actually add it to my smile lines just because I notice creasing um, when I do wear foundation throughout the day so I make sure to hit those spots as well. Ooh, such a cute look. So now as we wait for that to bake, we will go ahead and apply our brow gel. This is my Mary Kay brow gel just to go ahead and lay down the hairs. And then I'm gonna take the fluffiest brush ever. It's my Mary Kay All Powder Brush, and I'm just gonna get rid of all of the extra powder. Don't worry, we will go back to warm up the face because I look really pale, but this step is key. So then I'm gonna take my Mary Kay Cheek Brush, and I'm actually going to add some bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Uh, bronzer palette, and I think a deep bronze. I'll make sure it's in the description box below, but I'm just gonna add that all over the face. So. All of the areas that I contoured, not necessarily concentrating it in one area, but just hitting everything um, so it looks all nice and blended and bronzy. So now we're going to go in with, this is Ripe Watermelon Duo Cheek Color by Mary Kay. So I'm going to add that pink shade to the apples of my cheek. I'm going to bring it back into my contour, um, but I really like to have it in the apples of my cheek. And then I'm going to take my powder brush again just to make sure everything is blended out because I was a little heavy on the blush. So next this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy highlighter palette. Oh it's so gorgeous. I love it. It's perfect for summer. It's just it's bright and fun. 
So I'm just gonna add that to the tops of my cheekbones, right under my brow, above my brow, um, and then I also normally will add it to like the bridge of my nose and then my cupid bow. So next we're gonna go in with, this is Driftwood by Mary Kay, another one of their eyeshadows. I'm just gonna add that to my bottom lash line so it doesn't look so bare, and I'm gonna blend it into the outer corners of my eye. I'm gonna follow up with some primer. This is the lash primer I used earlier just to coat my lashes. And then I'm going to also use my Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara again just to add some more volume to my bottom lashes. So next, I'm going to take that highlight shade that was with the Ripe Watermelon Blush Duo palette, um, and I'm actually going to take that and add it to my inner corner. That highlight is a little too bright for me on my cheeks, but it's perfect still as an eyeshadow. So I'm just going to add that to the inner corners, and then I'm going to finish with my Mary Kay Setting Spray. Just a few spritz all over, let that dry. And then, of course, no look is complete without lips, so I'm going to take my Mary Kay Deep Nude Liner. I'm going to line all over my lips. I'm not going to fill them in. I'm just going to use it as a true lip liner. And now I'm going to follow up with one of the Mary Kay Semi Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade Always Apricot. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill in my lips with that. Um, and then once we do that, the look is complete. So thank you guys again for tuning in, for watching. Um, and of course, if you guys have any ideas, suggestions on what you want to see next, please leave the comments below. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. You can find me at Laura Christian on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, and yeah, so can't wait to see you guys in the next video. All right, take care.